From the Owens Outcome Student Media Center, this is Community Connection. Putting you in touch with what's happening within the community and on our campus. Here's your host. Welcome to this segment of Community Connection. My name is Rob Thomas, and with me today is Steve Williams. Steve is an instructor for the Food and Nutrition and Hospitality Program at Owens Community College. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Good to be here, Rob. It is uh, springtime, and there are a lot of uh, plans on people's minds when it comes to vacationing. You have had a career as a hotelier, and uh, you can share some tips with us. With spring break, uh, that means that the hotels, particularly in other parts of the country, are in their high season. High season in the hotel business means that the prices are high. <laughs> And uh, so uh, there are some key facts that I think our students could benefit from knowing and how to book hotels and what to find out. And look forward to exploring that with you. You hear so many stories about uh, people who might go down for spring break students and uh, they go down with no plans whatsoever. Uh, I would say, as a parent, that's not a great idea. I agree. I think you should definitely do your research ahead of time um, and uh, book a reservation. Uh, there are several ways you can book a reservation and uh, you might want to check out the social media sites to see reviews on sites like TripAdvisor and Expedia and Google uh, to see what other people have said about the particular hotel you're thinking of staying in. Um, we have um, uh, a couple different ways in the hotel industry that you can book a reservation. You could do it directly with a hotel once you've identified where you'd like to stay and there are several discounts that students should know about uh, in doing an uh, approach like that. For instance, uh, if you are a AAA member uh, or a military veteran, many times the hotel will give you a, a discount, but you need to ask for it. Uh, is that typical when it comes to uh, booking hotels? You always have to ask whether or not there's a special going on? Or? Usually you do, and, uh, and then basically you're getting a discount off of the rack rate. The other approach that many people use in booking hotels is what we call OTAs in the business or online travel agencies. Okay. This would be people that you see advertising a great deal on the media, such as Expedia, Priceline, Booking.com, those kinds of services. How, how does that work? They're good services. They're paid by the hotel. Uh, but the key to know on those uh, uh, types of bookings is that many times you have to pay up front and you are locked in at that point in time. If your plans change, you have less flexibility than if you book directly through the hotel itself. But typically that's a better way to go when it comes to a rate? It many times is. Travago is another one that comes to mind that uh, people use a good deal in that respect. And so I would recommend really looking at both sides of the fence, both in-house and through the OTAs as well. Many times, if you are willing to pay the entire amount of the money up front, uh, even directly with a hotel, you can get a reduction, a significant reduction uh, in your rate as well. How important are the amenities at a hotel? For instance, if there's a continental breakfast versus a uh, restaurant that's attached to it? And I think uh, those amenities are cru crucial in the business, uh, particularly breakfast. Obviously, any meal that's provided to you that you don't have to buy is a real benefit, particularly when you're a student and even when you aren't. Uh, but you'll want to look at other amenities. Uh, do they offer daily room service? Uh, are there any other uh, amenities that are part of it, such as is it a beachfront hotel? Do they have a swimming pool? And particularly, is the pool heated? because uh, uh, having been a general manager of a hotel myself in Orlando, uh, uh, the weather can change drastically, <laughs> and if the pool is heated, it sometimes makes all the difference in the world. One last quick question for you, and that is, uh, what about the number of people that are in the room? I think that uh, in most cases, uh, depending on the size of the room, you can comfortably put six people, uh, according to hotel rules, in, in the room. You want to be careful, though, with getting beyond that because you, uh, you know, you're know you violating what the hotel wants in that respect. Well, thank you. And also, thank you, I think you... I'm going to have to cut you off. There's right. so much more we could talk about, but we're running out of time. I'm Rob Thomas. Steve Williams has been our guest on this segment of Community Connection. This has been Community Connection. If your group or organization would like to appear on Community Connection, message us from the Owens Community College Radio Facebook page. From the Owens Outcome Student Media Center, this has been Community Connection.